Hello everybody, and it's now time for another one of my video game reviews, and sorry about the poor lighting in here tonight. I don't know what it is. My light seems not to want to be giving off light. I'm going to fix up something better for my next video, which will be probably tomorrow or the next day. And the video game that I just played through was Final Fantasy IV on the DS. And I just fin I finished this about two weeks ago. Like I said, I was having internet problems. And sorry about the glare and everything like that. There's a shiny cover onto it and whatnot. Um, you play as a Dark Knight Cecil, and you have to save the world and your kingdom. And he's the leader of the Red Brian Force. And then you meet up with other characters like Yang, uh, your girlfriend Rose. And eventually you become the Light Warrior Cecil. And then you go against the darkness and everything like that. You get rid of all your dark weapons. Er all that fun stuff. This is a remake of the 1991 version that was released in Japan. Uh, we got it on the Super Nintendo. And it was called Final Fantasy 2. I owned the game when I was younger. Got rid of it. I don't know. I wasn't into RPGs back then. Very stupid because I sold it for 5 bucks. Now the game is worth Yeah. Uh, this was released in July of 2008, and there was also one released on the PSP. This is the 3D version. It has full motion cutscenes, um, everything like that. And I heard this is keeps to the original script, even the stuff they took out, like when they transferred it to the Super Nintendo version, was put into this. Not too often you see like an older Final Fantasy game have cutscenes and everything like that, and you hear voice talking. Especially on the DS, because I think that's the first game I actually played on the DS that actually had, like, voice recognition and everything like that. Because I played one game before this that you've seen, and I used to own a DS XL, I think, and I played Pokemon on that, and yeah. But yeah, the graphics in this is awesome. Like, for a DS game, it's awesome. Like, I couldn't believe it, and the, my my favorite boss out of the whole thing has to be the final boss, especially when he uses, like, the Big Bang, yeah, and my favorite summoning would have to be Bahamut or Behemoth, I'm gonna get bitched at Beth, Beth, over that because I shouldn't be saying it right, but, like I said, I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan, um, I don't care for number seven, like everybody else does or whatnot, uh, so far, this is my favorite in the series. I do own the PlayStation 1 version, which is, I think, Anthology, which has Chrono Trigger with it. And I have seen, like, the PSP version, and I never picked it up. But after playing this game and whatnot, I think I am going to pick it up. But yeah, like, it has everything. Like, you begin on Earth, and then you go under the world, uh, the underworld, where you visit the dwarves. Dwar yeah, dwarves. And you help them out in their kingdom, fight off the evil tower. Uh, and then you take a trip to the moon, and that's where you meet an elder. And the elder um, goes with Go Gobaz to help destroy the evil entity that's coming into the world. Uh, the game ends, and this is going to be the only spoiler that I'm going to do with Cecil and Rose getting married, which adds to the love part of the game. Um, Edge, you can tell, is in love with uh, Rydai, or whatever, uh, R-Y-D-I-A, I can't remember, I can't pronounce her name. I always have a hard time pronouncing names in these games. That's why I think I like Final Fantasy VII name-based, because it was easy names like Barrett, Cloud, and everything like that. But yeah, this game was awesome. I couldn't, I, I can't say how awesome it was because I, I, I can't even believe it, but like, this one beats, like I said, all the Final Fantasy games I played prior to this, like, one and, one wasn't, was okay, uh, number two, I found, wasn't that bad, just hated the leveling up system, this one was actually pretty good, and I'm looking for Final Fantasy 3 because that's one of the hardest one to find, uh, I think it's out on the PSP and the DS, and I'm trying to find it, like I said, I only paid like three bucks for this game and I was like oh it's only a Final Fantasy game I'm not big like onto them so that's why and I was amazed with this uh, you face the four elemental things like lightning um, 
lightning, fire, water, and Ert, but I think Ert was more like the dead guy. And I never seen a game like in the Final Fantasy series where you could use holy potions and all that to kill your enemies so fast. But this one was, I don't know, because it was light versus dark, whatever. Like, right now with my light, right now, light versus dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you haven't played this one, and I'm sure a lot of people have, I would recommend going, pick it up, play it, and if you want a good, smooth version, I would play this one. I sunk, I think, 40 hours into it, and I beat it. So, yeah, that's my review on Final Fantasy IV. I would recommend it to everybody. It's my favorite of the whole series. So far, I haven't played uh, anything else. Like, I haven't played uh, 8, 9, and 12, so... After I play those, then I'm probably going to do, like, another one of these. Now, I know this became into, like, a little Final Fantasy rant, and I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, Final Fantasy 4, excellent game. If you haven't played it yet, I would recommend going to pick it up. And I'll catch you next time, and hopefully I have better lighting so I won't be as dark. And take her easy.